Of all the great elk territory this country has to offer, there may be none greater than that found in the Autumn Mountains outside Chama, New Mexico. On the cool, crisp airs carry the sound of the frenzied bugling and crashing antlers of bulls battling for their harems. For elk numbers and elk size, few places compare. The high plains of northern New Mexico lead the way to the Rockies in the home of the American elk. Here at the Timbers Hunting Lodge is where Ruger's Jim Elliott has come to make his first guided hunt starting at the top. I've hunted uh, elk uh, three different times in Arizona. Uh, just self-guided hunt, uh, myself, my son, and some friends. But uh, this is the first uh, uh, truly guided hunt that I've ever been on. Elliot's destination, Chama, is centrally located in New Mexico's legendary elk unit number four. Hunting on the rugged private lands of the Timbers with guide Shane Faulkner, Elliot will be looking at a 70% success rate on bulls that average an impressive 285 points. Northern New Mexico and Unit 4 are world renowned for our elk herd and population. You no longer have to go in the back remote country and, and backpack in 20 miles to get on an elk herd. By the start of the 20th century, elk had vanished from New Mexico. Then, a hundred years ago, public and private stocking began, leading to the first elk season in 1933. Today, some 80,000 animals roam the state. The populations are growing, the quality is stable, and the success rate is extremely high. The scenery here is just, just gorgeous. You got the aspen trees and the cottonwoods that are all changing into their fall colors. You got the mountains off in the horizon, uh, snow-capped mountains up north, and it, it's just gorgeous. The elk are taking advantage of the full moon to remain in the timber past shooting hours, which leaves Jim and Shane with at least a great meal to look forward to. Tonight I'm going to be serving a coq au vin, which is a French for rooster and wine. And what I've done is taking about a bottle of red wine and I have offset the wine and I've added Cornish game in halves and I've braised them for about three hours and they're pretty much all in part tender. <laughs> Two cups of Moscato, a cup of water, three quarter cup of sugar, and a vanilla bean. It's what I use to poach my uh, peaches in, my peach melba. Peach melba. The Civil War helped wipe out the elk in New Mexico when the Union occupied the territory to outflank rebel Texas, and unregulated hunting by soldiers, along with miners and ranchers, shot out the species. But through the early 20th century, the elk was reintroduced into the state. Legal hunting began again in the 1930s, and today, the New Mexico herd numbers some 80,000, drawing tens of thousands of hunters. And every year, the state's elk place higher and higher in the record books. Here at the Timbers, we only hunt private land as well as only free-ranging elk. And so all the factors come into play when you go on any hunt, which could be weather conditions, food availability, water, uh, temperatures, moon phases, all those come into play, even, even though Unit 4 is known for such large herd of animals. And so uh, some, some planning ahead and then and just a little bit of luck needs to play a role in even the most prolific elk country. So welcome to the Timbers of Chama. Just at daybreak, uh, we saw a herd of about eight or so cows across the field. And then we heard some bugling and Shane uh, spotted a nice bull. And I had a clear lane to shoot, uh, but he was 455 yards out. At this distance, you're gonna pull it right on his back. Just don't wanna miss him. At that distance, my crosshairs were on him and off of him, and I just didn't feel comfortable of taking the shot. He, he moved out and we didn't didn't get a shot. Would he be small enough to be following a big bull? Yeah. I think he could be the one that ran that spike off. Just about the time you'd think, well, 
you know, it's it's done. We got skunked on this one. Well, you glass out in the trees and you just barely see them coming out. Look at a bull out there feeding just on the edge of the heavy timber. Because you could hear him approaching, but you couldn't see anything and just kind of looked off to my left. And I thought, boy, I don't remember those stumps being there a minute ago. Picked up my glasses and, and there was a couple of cows just standing, just looking at you. One looking our way right now. About 15 minutes before the end of legal light, the bull stepped off to the side of the herd. Is that a bull? Yeah, that's a bull. You got him, Jim? Yeah. About 250 yards out. Let me, let me check him again. Yes, that's a bull. That's a good bull. I was able to pick him up in my uh, scope. I'm going to shoot. Go. Wow. Shot and stopped him. He's hit hard. Put another one in him when you get a chance. I don't see him. He's up here. He's above everything. Is he standing? That's him. That's standing. He's hit. He's down. And second shot uh, put him down. And it was just, what a wonderful feeling. Hunting here at the Timbers uh, at Chama has been just a wonderful experience. The, the staff, uh, Bill and Rhonda Glisson, uh, couldn't have been better hosts. The Timbers itself is such a great facility. Uh, we believe this, we believe when a hunter attends a Rocky Mountain hunt, they're, they're really looking for more than just the kill or the harvest, they're looking for the adventure. So at the Timber, we put a lot of emphasis in showing value to our customers from the moment they walk in our gate. I'm 61 years old, I've been wanting to get an elk uh, for some 30 years. I've got my elk, but the excitement of the hunt, I, I'm sure I'm gonna go on some more elk hunts. Uh, we have a wonderful chef and uh, we put a big emphasis on the camaraderie and the fellowship that we enjoy in between hunters and staff each and every week. Uh, the lodge is just gorgeous, uh, beautiful. Uh, Chef Jordan uh, cooked us some wonderful meals. So uh, when you hunt at the Timbers and Chama, it's a, it's, a, it's a complete package and it's more than just a harvest of an elk.